A few years ago, I came across this image, which is fake. A German photographer had fixed 16 cameras to get this shot, for which he had to wait 62 days. I never used 30 cameras to capture the phases of the moon because I care for my camera. See, the moon and sun are together. This can be only seen again in 2035. Never. Even if the universe died, this won't happen again. And see, my explanation there below. So I decided to convert this explanation into video. So let's get started. Well, that's the earth. I am not a mathematician to solve this problem with pen and board. We need an epic setup for this so that the explanation is screwed into your brains. That's the epic setup and you can see my sun is turning on and off. I am the god of universe. Well, that's not how we experience days and nights on the earth, but because the earth spins on its axis. So let's move on to the explanation. And this is my moon. Well, that's the new moon position with dark side of the moon facing towards the earth. And you can see the moon is between the sun and earth without causing an eclipse because not always the shadow of the moon falls on the earth. So apparently the sun and moon are close to each other. I said apparently. So this is why they will rise and set almost at the same time. So on the other day, when the moon is moving towards the waxing side, the moon will have lag in rise and set time with respect to the sun. And see, at this position, moon is crescent and not the full as per the image. So you will see the crescent moon shining in the evening skies when the sun is setting. Well, you may have observed dull view of moon while it's crescent. And that's due to earth reflecting light on the moon which is known as the earth shine. And as the moon moves away from the sun, there will be more lag in rise and set time. The scene is more realistic, that's the beauty of my epic setup. And now it's time for the full moon wherein the sun and moon are just opposite to each other with respect to the earth and see that's my full moon at this position the full moon will rise at the east same time while the sun is setting in the west and that's my sun hope the explanation is latched into your brains but the person should have mentioned that the image is composite and it's just a piece of art but still it's a crime because there are tons of innocent minds on the internet who are just forwarding the messages. I captured high resolution moon phases over a month and no one shared it. Well, I am not disappointed because I do it for my happiness. I expect people to share not because it's my image but because they should understand the beauty of the universe. So in the next video, I am going to show you how I pointed my telescope towards moon for a month to get this time lapse. So stay tuned, subscribe to this channel and thanks for watching.